Right, morning people. It's raining. It's Saturday. And Jermaine Genus has been done up like a kipper. Jermaine Genus has been honey trapped. I've seen it happen before. It's happened to me. And it is disgusting. Right, so let me explain something to you. Why is it that this woman, whoever she is, has been absolutely exonerated from everything and Jermaine loses his job completely, completely? Now, let, 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 me, let me explain something to those who might be oblivious, to those who just read the newspapers and just go, oh yes, oh yes, oh yes. Let me just explain something to you. Right. This woman gave Jermaine her phone number. That is the initiation of flirting. Now you could say, oh well, it could have been, no. So what we're supposed to believe now is because she was, it was a boozy night out, because she may have been a little bit tipsy, that's why she gave him her phone number. Now, this, little bit tipsy so we're now supposed to oh that's all right because when we were a little bit tipsy we were allowed to give people a phone number their phone number according to social engineering then so remember i'm just going off what the news are saying so this girl gave jermaine her phone number this woman gave jermaine her phone number when she was a little bit you know on a boozy night out and they sent each other some flirty text. That flirty text may have gone to sending other, other um, um, content, whatever it is, adult content to each other. Now, I doubt very much, I doubt, not even very much, I doubt massively that Jermaine, with no response at all, just started sending the pictures of himself. I, massively doubt that so there would have been some flirting back and forth okay of which at the point the girl might have said oh send me a picture of this or that and Jermaine may have said send me a picture of this or that and he may have done or she may have done or they both may have done but then how's it gone from that to her speaking with B, um, BBC HR and Jermaine getting sacked. Now, I think what's happened is that the girl has uh, engaged in sending pictures and images and photographs and whatever. Then uh, she's realised she ain't going to get anywhere with Jermaine. Jermaine ain't going give to her, give her what she wants, for example. So then, she's gone to HR and giving it the, oh, oh, it really affected my mental health. Oh, oh, oh. It's ridiculous. Because how has it gone from two adults texting each other to her sharing the text with HR? And let me give you an example, because exact, well, not exactly, a very similar thing happened to me, yep. I'm on a field trip, a school field trip. This is when I was teaching. I'm on a field trip. I'm sat on the coach with another brother, another uh, uh, black teacher, and we're sat together, fine, getting on, chatting. This teacher, geography teacher, utter rent, cabbage, utter, um, <clears throat> sorry, just thinking about that brings a little bit of throw up in my mouth, yeah, in my throat. A little bit of acid reflux, just thinking about her. So she comes and asks the other teacher to move, or could they switch places? So she could sit next to me, giving some BS excuse, yeah. So anyway, she sits next to me. It's an overnight trip, so we're driving into Europe. So on the night, yeah, she starts showing me she starts showing me <clears throat> pictures of herself on her phone, of the Babylons, of the Narns, of her touching the Narns, 
all that type of thing. She shows that to me. I didn't ask the dirty cow. She just started showing it to me. So, of course, I'm like, oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I didn't know you was like that. Do you get what I mean? Blah, blah, blah. So she goes into it, telling me everything about the inadequacies of her husband, about um, how he's not got um, a package that looks after her. Um, she married him when she was too young, blah, blah, blah. She goes into it. Remember, this woman is married. She's telling me all the story. Blah, blah, blah. Anyway, Big Dog's not interested. Big Dog's chatting to some German blonde on the ferry. Yeah, some literally Heidi Klum. My woman, this woman, gets jealous. Yeah, starts stomping around, shouting, <coughs> making noise in duty free, loud. When we get back, speeds off in the car. Then when we back to school, all negative, always, always being negative, you know, the same negative things. I told another teacher that she'd showed me and had sent me via Snapchat, remember that, because that's what I forgot. She'd sent me via Snapchat pictures of the Babylons and the Narns. Yeah. To uh, but Big Dog never done anything, never touched her, anything like that. So this is where the big dog went wrong. I said in WhatsApp, remember I didn't give this woman my phone number. She got my phone number from the WhatsApp group of all the teachers on the group. That's how she got my phone number. Now, this biatch, yeah, this biatch, what she did then was um, message me via WhatsApp. So I forgot that she'd sent me the images on Snapchat and I was trying to prove to this other teacher that she was sending me pictures of the Narns and the Lons, yeah? So I said, oh, send me that picture that you sent me before. That was one of my words or words to that effect, yeah? And then she said, I don't know, something about, oh, I'm spending Christmas with my husband or something. So she's then got all moralistic and that after she was the one sending me um, pictures of the Narns and the Lons, right. So anyway, I didn't get to prove to that other teacher who turned out to be another snake anyway and not a real friend. But anyway, um, this woman who I did nothing with then went to HR and said that I was asking her for material completely exonerated herself from anything that she did, as in she initiated it. She said in her statement that I uh, just looked over her shoulder and, and as she was scrolling through her phone, ha I happened to see one of her, you know when you scroll through an, um, an iPhone and the pictures are like this small, how could I have seen from where I was sitting uh, the exact detail of the pictures? She uh, just utter lies and think about it like this. Why on a coach full of pupils would you be looking at a, um, um, in a file? Because she saved all the naughty pictures in one file that was, I don't know, called naughty or something. It was something like that. Like literally only fans pictures, this is what she had. And there was just loads of them, like hundreds. Like I, I swear I saw the number 800. So it wasn't like she didn't have loads. She had absolutely loads of them. Anyway, this woman went to HR giving it the, oh. So really what was happening was, she's having a shit marriage. She's a shit person. She's probably a shit wife, uh, her shit husband, uh, doing a shit job, playing computer games all day and paying no attention to her tried to take it all out on the big dog. So what she then did was make out that she was uh, uh, being harassed by me and all these type of things. Bullshit, utter bullshit. Now, who did they believe? Her. They didn't believe a word I said. Why? Because the people who were investigating were women and any man who doesn't listen to a woman who says that believes that they're being weak. So instead of standing up for the truth, yeah, which you'd expect real men to do, which these men aren't, they're not real men, they're pussy boys. 
yeah, they, they, they capitulated. That's why I know and I strongly believe that Jermaine Genus got absolutely honey trapped. He got absolutely done up like a kipper. Some woman, whoever she was, probably low below his grade, low below his standard, probably some makeup artist or runner or something like that. Yeah, probably quite fit. Yeah, you know, no, I'm not saying she wouldn't be fit, but probably quite fit. And bloody, you know, probably, you know, look good at a Christmas party. This swap numbers. Next thing you know, Jermaine Genius is getting sacked on Talksport. Like, listen, like Dr. Umar said, we must stay focused, brothers. We must stay focused. Yeah. And the, look, look. So, let me give you another example. Back in the day, I'm talking late 90s early 2000s yeah there was a girl from slough swindon slough around there and she used to sit she'd been in loaded and all those types of magazines loaded fhm no i think just loaded there was another one like loaded but not loaded i can't think of what it's called anyway she used to send me c um not cds discs or the actual photographs in true print you know, remember like the true print envelopes? And it, she looked, she wasn't. <laughs> she looked like Lucy Pinder. Trust me, trust me. I've still got the, the photographs in my loft somewhere. Obviously locked down so that no one can see. She looked like Lucy Pinder, if you remember who she was. And she used to send me pictures of the lons and the nans and doing stuff with the lons and the nans. And, but they were in photo form. It was a photograph. So she'd print them or get them printed at True Print to look at the effort that she went through to, to share with me um, her images. Or, or she'd give me a disc. I was either a floppy disc. Yeah, I'm sure it was a floppy disc. Or it was a SIM card. I think it might have been a SIM she used to send me something and they'd be on there. Weren't quite on CD-ROM yet. Oh yeah, it might have been CD-ROM. Anyway, my point is, that's how we're going to have to go. Because these, the, 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 then once they've put that amount of effort in, yeah, it's not as throwaway. They're invested. They actually do like you. The girl actually does like you. Not trying to honey trap you. You can't honey trap someone with a, with a stamp. And say, look, I posted him some photographs in the post. Well, where are they? And see, when I was dealing with my case, I went, um, I showed them the WhatsApp messages, but so had she. And I said, no, because it deletes. And she said, no, the woman who was investigating, fighting against me, the skinny minging cow, right? Um, she kept saying, but when you when you say delete on um, when you say delete on WhatsApp, it says to the other on the other party message deleted, and she's right. So I'm racking my brains, thinking, where did this go? Where's the image? Where's the thing? I'm racking my brains. Then it, I only remembered when I was at home racking my brains, going, she sent them on Snapchat because. Unless you save them, which I didn't, yeah. Unless you save them, they delete. They delete, and I was like, so then when I tried to go back on my appeal, I um, sent them. Uh, I said it was WhatsApp, but they didn't do anything to this woman, to this utter cow who, um, who, you know, even if she, even if her lies were true, it's still worth investigating because. Why would you be looking for a file of naked pictures of yourself on a coach with staff members, yeah, and and um, students? Why? Why would you do that? So you got to ask yourself that question. So, the, but they didn't look. They didn't want to ask that question because they had an agenda, and the agenda was they were going after the big dog, and that was the only thing they could get the big dog on. They couldn't get me on anything else. 
I was a brilliant teacher, absolutely brilliant. Couldn't care less what anyone else says. I learned from the best, TJ. I learned from the absolute best. So my point is, yeah, my high school of music. What the hell? I need to go and get a picture of that. So <coughs> my, my 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 advice is, brothers, listen. The 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 the. the you don't tr doesn't matter. Some of these, some of these people are genuine. Don't get me wrong. And I'm guessing most um, most members of staff who start dating or share these types of things don't go and share whatever it is with HR. So the reason why they do it is because they've got an agenda. Whether it's because you've you've rebuffed them. They didn't get what they want. You didn't leave your wife for them. Um, whatever the scenario, you didn't give them any ring a ding, ding a ling a ling. You didn't give them any ding a ling a ling. So in my case, I didn't. I, di I didn't even touch. Yeah. So you know, and that's probably what upsets them the most is that they, she, or they wasn't as attractive. Not attractive enough at home for the husband to want to put down the PlayStation controller or Xbox controller and do anything with her. So if she's not attractive enough at home, then yo. If she's not attractive enough at home, then <laughs> she's, she's got no chance if she's not attractive enough out in the streets. Do you get what I mean? She, she, she's not attractive enough, that's it. So, unfortunately, she decided the other thing, which was, oh, da, 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 go to HR. End of the day, it's like I keep saying, karma gets these people, and karma gets her every day, because every day, she's got to wake up next to her husband who's not interested in her. She's got to wake up to herself who's minging. She's got, a, that, that, that's, that's just life, that's how it is for her. So instead of turning on uh, a nice person, yeah, who was actually quite positive with her and chatted to her and all that sort of stuff, yeah. Yes, I didn't want to do anything, but does that mean that I deserve being switched on? So probably the same thing happened to Jermaine. Does that mean he deserved being switched on? It's utter, utter craziness. Anyway, listen, like and subscribe, guys. See you later. Bye.